Hello everyone. Let's learn how listener works and how you can set up listener in availability group in the session. If applications connect directly to replica name, they don't know which one is primary and which one is secondary, right? They might mistakenly connect secondary replica instead of primary. As a result, they might face connection errors and outage happens. To resolve this issue, there is a feature in availability group called listener. When applications connect listener, listener will automatically direct request to primary replica. As a result, applications do not need to know which one, which replica is primary and which one is secondary. They just connect listener and that's all. So how listener functions internally? Let's first look at single subnet case where primary and secondary replicas are located in the single subnet. When you create listener, you give DNS name to the listener and you set IP address for this DNS name within this IP range. As soon as this listener created, this IP address is added as secondary IP in primary replica only. Then, when applications make request to listener, the request is directed to the replica which has this secondary IP registered. In this way, the primary replica is detected. So what happens if failover happens? In this case, secondary IP will be moved to this new primary and the listener will be directed to this new secondary, which has secondary IP. So let's look at multi-subnet case. In multi-subnet, it is a little bit different. You configure listener with two IPs for each subnet. As soon as listener is created, these IP addresses for each subnet are added to the corresponding replicas. When applications connect, they should specify multi-subnet failover to true in the connection string. Please pay attention. They should specify this property in the connection string. As a result, parallel request goes to both primary and secondary replica. But Connection to secondary replica fails because secondary IP here in the secondary is offline while connection to primary succeeds because secondary IP here is online. In this way, the primary is detected in multi-subnet case. So what happens if failure happens? In this case, secondary IP in new primary is taken online while the other one is taken offline after failover. So we are making parallel requests, right? So request to new primary will start to succeed and request to this secondary starts to fail. Okay. And in this way, we can quickly detect failover and uh, request to new primary. Very simple, right? Now you know how listener works. Let's create a listener for our AG. Okay. This is my AG cluster, you can see, and currently I don't have listener configured. Okay, refresh, and you can see I don't have any listener. So let's create a listener. To do this, I'll just right click and click add listener. Here, I can, I should set the DNS name for my listener. Let's make it as my listener, okay? Then port number, 1433 okay this is corresponding to my sql server port number then i will set static ip and click add this is my subnet ip range okay if uh, currently i have uh, only single subnet and this is single subnet ag if you have multi subnet you will have two ips here and you should configure two ip okay so i will set 168, 1, 6, 12. Let's make it 12. Okay. Click. Okay. Now I added one IP. I don't have multi subnet case, so therefore I cannot add more. If you have multi subnet, you can add one more time. Okay. You can add uh, one more and you will have two IPs here. I have only one IP here. So click. Okay. Now you can see creation starts, right? So let's wait a little uh, until it is created. Okay, now you can see it has been created. And if you if you see properties, you can see 
uh, DNS name, port, and IP address, right, for this listener. The same can be seen from failover cluster manager. Failover, if you open failover cluster manager and go to your role, let's uh, click here. This is my cluster roles and click on your AG, right? And click on resources and this is listener, okay? My listener and IP address. In If you have multi-subnet case, you will have two IPs here and one is become online okay here i have only one ip online okay if you have two uh, multi subnet one is online and one is offline becomes here okay so you should expect like this so let's now connect to this listener instead of server name okay i will just click my listener and click connect now you can see I connected to the listener, right? My listener. And if you open, open always on high availability, you can see I'm connecting to primary. I am connect, uh, the, my request is automatically going to primary. Okay. So you can also open CMD, for example, and uh, OP IP config. If you check IP, IP config, you can see the listener IP address as secondary IP, okay? This is uh, my primary IP, and this is my secondary IP, okay? So listener name is up in primary as secondary. What about in secondary, right? I go to secondary, and let's check here also, CMD, and uh, write, write administrator, and IP config, and here you can you cannot see any kind of secondary IP. So secondary IP only in primary. Okay. So this is what we discussed about, right? So uh, their secondary IP only exists in primary. Okay. That's all. I hope that you found this session useful. Thank you.